I want you guys to tell me what's biblically wrong with this statement. And this was a guy that was preaching at the Asbury revival, supposedly the one that was preaching before it all became a revival. Check this out. Well, I know the heart of God is not one that would heap guilt and shame on us, right? That I know that the word of God corrects and, and, and uh, coaches us, but this might feel like, whew, I feel that way when I look at this passage. You might be like, well, I'm new to this whole thing, or I don't, I don't know Jesus, or I didn't study this passage. No, like, I have studied this passage. I have been walking with the Lord now for 16 years. This is exactly what the heart of God and the Spirit of God does. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. I know the heart of God is not one that would heap guilt and shame on us, right? This is exactly what the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, does, is bring shame to our sin. A true move of God is going to renounce false doctrines like eternal security, perseverance of the saints, once saved, always saved, all the people that teach that, all this false teaching that's going on, all these denominations that are false, all these things that are false, that's what the true love of God and move of God is going to do. He, he is going to expose everything that's going on. That's going to be a real revival. That's going to be the church really repenting of all these false teachings and sin. May the Lord have mercy.